All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, a teacher rule well, and labor in 100% doctrine where I learned this truth from. Shalom to the hopeful elect that is pushing his truth and our righteousness and in sincerity around the four winds of the earth. And Shalom to the few Akwaf, the sisters coming back, being silent as the scriptures commanded them to be. I'm the Akim Ha'amayan. And today I just, uh, Lord willing to be an edifying lesson. Today I just want to bring out a, a couple of videos about what's going on around the world and related and related to scriptures. Okay, tied in with the scriptures because we are at the end. Okay, this is Romans chapter thirteen verse eleven, and it reads, "And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep." And that's right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. The Lord, Yahweh Bashamah Shah, who the word ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ, which is which are not their names. It is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah, his only begotten son, who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He's on his way back for his second coming, and he's only going to save one third of Israel, men, women, and children, starting with the one hundred and forty four thousand, the government by the twelve thousand men out of each tribe, okay, the twelve tribes. Okay. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. So you got to wake up and get right real quick, man. Okay. It may not be your time today, but if it's for you, it resonate with your spirit. Cleave to the Lord because we're going to need them for these bad times. Okay. For now is our salvation near than when we believe. And that's right. Our salvation is near than when we believe. How is shy? Is is uh showing Yahweh Bashamah Shah is showing our type of signs and great wonders that he's on his way back. And also Yahweh Bashamah Shah is, is showing great signs and wonders because he's visiting the world which he made. Okay. Verse 12, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. The day is the day is at hand. Jacob trouble is at hand. The day of um all out hell, okay, all out chaos, okay, um, uh, the implementation of the uh, MOTB, Revelation 13, 16. Okay, he calls all both small, great, rich, and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or their forehead, that karagma, okay, that the scriptures are against. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So we got to, we got to, uh, Stand up for the Lord, Yahweh Shemai was shy, and put on this armor of light, this truth. Because like it says, 23rd, the Psalms 23rd chapter, thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Okay, that was all the scriptures. Uh, we need these, we need to be uh, occupying to, occupying the prophecy to the Lord come. The scriptures say occupy till I, till I come. Okay, so we need to be busy in, in, in faith as far as doctrine, teaching and warning. And putting on um, the arm of light, okay? Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. But ye put on the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, okay? So wholeheartedly, we need to be walking towards the light of Yahweh Shai, Shai being examples, Okay? No matter what we go through in our daily lives, man, because his brothers facing way more hell than other brothers. And but the point is, we're facing affliction, we're facing adversity, okay, and we're ready to get up out of here. We we're not we're not giving up. We're showing much perseverance, okay, and we're optimistic that we're, we're, we 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 get we got to get up out of here, okay. We we have the same expectation, the same hopes, okay. We're the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we be a part of that number, okay. Um, with that being said. Let me uh play this video. It say forest fires block out the sun in Yakutia, Yakutia region of Russia.
that's how the missiles are going to be. Because 200 million missiles have to hit this place. America, which is Babylon the Great. Okay? America is going to be brought down. America is going to be made desolate and brought down by thermonuclear fire by way of missiles. Intercontinental ballistic missiles, also known as ICBMs, the warheads, are going to uh, hit this place by via different countries and ultimately ultimately is the Lord Yahweh Bashem Al Shah who's doing this, okay? Uh let me Heavy rains in northern England caused heavy flooding. Road and rail links were cut off in some parts of England. Cheshire was hardest hit by the floods, with shops and establishments closed in some places and planned summer events and festivals cancelled. In some settlements people are flooded in buildings. Fire services are evacuating the population from the affected areas. A 13-year-old boy who was cut off by a waterstorm in Stockport, near Manchester, has been rescued using an inflatable trail. During the rescue operation, one of the firefighters was almost cleaned with a water cannon, but he was rescued. Heavy rains began in the northwestern part of the country on Sunday and Monday, with only 19 millimeters of rain coming in the afternoon on Wednesday alone, according to the British Meteorological Service. In Derbyshire, near the town bridge in Wales, the Toddbrook Reservoir Dam partially collapsed. After the dam partially collapsed, police closed the A6 section between Buxton and Buxton and asked Buxton residents to prepare for the evacuation if the situation worsened. The number and frequency of floods in Europe in recent years have forced scientists to stop thinking and come to very disappointing conclusions. Thus, the events in Britain in the middle of this century became a new confirmation of the threat of flooding in parts of Europe. This was announced by Professor Jean Pascal van Ypersel, Vice Chairman of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, at the Free University of Brussels Europe, on the other hand, estimates that it will have to prepare for systemic flooding due to rain and river flooding over the next three decades. However, a truly dramatic situation could arise after 2050, when global ocean level rise, currently estimated at 3 mm per year, directly threatens major European coastal cities, including London, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Antwerp, Copenhagen. Hey, it's going to get it's going to get worse than that, man. And let me bring a script shot for that. Uh, this is uh This is uh Second Edge chapter nine. And um this is verse one. Second Edge chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest, which is Yahweh will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay? The Lord is visiting this place, man. <clears throat> jumping down jumping down to verse 6, it reads, Even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. These are the signs that the end is here. The end is near, man. Okay? Uh, let me play one more video and I'm gonna wrap it up. Turkey's popular tourist attractions on fire at the end of July due to extreme heat. And look at the name of the video. It says Turkey is on fire. Fire is devouring cities. God has left us. <laughs> the air temperature rose to 40 degrees. A forest fire broke out in southern Turkey. The first reports of the disaster were received on the 28th of July. The fire quickly spread to the tourist region of Antalya, which is popular with Russian tourists. The first footage from the scene came from the cities of Side and Antalya. The pictures show how dark clouds of smoke swirled over residential buildings. One of the most severe fires occurred in the province of Manavgat, 76 kilometers from Antalya. It was confiscated, but the victims were inevitable. Three people were killed, 122 were injured. Strong winds and hot weather quickly threw the fire to the ground. According to the Minister of Agriculture and Forestry of Turkey Bekir Pekdemirli, 
at least 183 people were injured as a result of a strong forest fire. According to him, the Turkish authorities were expecting it because of the heat, but, unfortunately, it exploded almost on the same day, and it will take time to fully control it. Turkey's agriculture and forestry minister Bekir Pekdemirli, who visited the fire site early on July 29, told reporters that the fire was now under serious control. However, on Thursday night, another fire broke out in the mountain town of Akseki. Now they are being actively extinguished due to the good wind and will never return to Manivgan, where the residents of five quarters once again fled to. As of noon on July 29, according to the Turkish Emergency Management Agency, AFAD, a fire near Manivgat killed three residents and required 122 people for medical attention, 58 of them was hospitalized. The fire destroyed many buildings in and around Manivgat, killing large livestock. By mid-Thursday July 29, the situation seemed to have returned to normal. 41 of the forest fires in and around Manivgat, only 10 were active, and the rest were local. Fire extinguishing. One fire extinguisher aircraft with an evacuation system, one UAV, 19 helicopters, 192 ground combat vehicles, 30 fire engines, 960 firefighters and 30 marines. Hey man, it's going down. <clears throat> it's going down, man. The Lord is visiting this place. So it's high time to wake up out of sleep. Um... Oh, let me see. Let me start at verse 25. Ugh, Salaki. And there shall be there shall Salaki. Luke chapter 21 verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And that's what's going to happen. That's what's going on. And it's only going. To, it's on. It's only going to increase. It's. It's going to get worse. It's not. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse, man. It's going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. It's going to get better for the hopeful elect, because we're going to. Uh, Lord willing, we be a part of that number. We're going to be delivered out of this. Uh, out of it going to be delivered out of Babylon the Great, which is America. Out of out of when the missiles hit, the 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 chariots are the who, who the world it to call uh, Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, and the armies of Yahweh. They're going to deliver us out of with them chariots, them UFOs. Okay, which which UFOs are the chariots? It just means unidentifiable flying object. They are identifiable to us. We know what they are. They are the vehicles of the Lord. But uh, get back into the scriptures. Let me read it over. In verse 25, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Okay, that don't sound like it's something pretty. Men hearts, men's hearts, which are their minds, fell in them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Okay. Men's hearts fell in them for fear. That that's that's that distress. Okay? That's that distress. That that's that uh that woe. That that, that destruction. You know you've been doing something wrong. Okay? <clears throat> and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. Whoo. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that, that, that bring me into uh Revelation chapter one, verse seven. It reads, Behold, which means look, he cometh with clouds, and that's symbolism for what? The chariots. And he behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Every eye, everything that has an eye, you're gonna see him. Everybody gonna see him. And they also which pierced him, and our kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so Amon. Okay, so back in back into Luke. <laughs> Chapter twenty one. And let me get 27. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with, with power and great glory. That's that chariot. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. 
and the Lord is going to redeem the hopeful elect. That's who's going to buy us out of this captivity, out of this condition, and, and give us those give us those uh, immortal and incorruptible bodies, man. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Just occupy till He come, and stay rooted and grounded, and be patient, and just take the suffering. Okay, we're gonna be all right. To the sincere Akim and Akwaf. To the next time, I would like to close out the lesson by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakhak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the, and the elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well, laboring 100% doctrine, who I learned the truth from. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and our righteousness and sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Shalom to the sincere Akwaf, the few sisters coming back, being silent as the scriptures commanded them to be. Stay rooted and stay grounded. That even goes for me, myself, and we almost out of here. Shalom, Ababa, Kwam, Yasha Allah.